What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best laptops 2022, that are available on the market, I made this list based on my personal research, if you would like to see more details on these products and the updated prices, please check out the description below and be sure to subscribe to get more reviews ok, let's get started with the video. Number 5 The Pixelbook Go is Google's latest vision of what a Chromebook should be. Unlike previous efforts, the Go doesn't shoot for the stars. Its price reflects that, and it starts at a full $350 less than its predecessor. However, if you like the original Pixelbook's high-end specs, you can order a high-end Go with a Core i7 processor, 16GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, and a 4K display. The Go's design is very much function over form, and an interesting ridged underside is the only thing that sets it apart from standard laptops. The base model uses the Intel Core M3 chip, but we recommend going for the Core i5. You'll get 8GB of RAM either way, which is plenty for average Chromebook use. Chrome OS has progressed significantly in recent years and feels very mature. Support for Linux makes it decent for light development work too. Using Android apps on it can still be an exercise in frustration, but things have improved in recent releases. Number 4 It might not be as flashy as the hybrid tablet laptop design that made Microsoft's Surface brand famous, but the new Surface Laptop 4 is everything a laptop should be, slim and lightweight with an excellent screen and keyboard. Ports are one place where Surfaces skimp, like MacBooks, but you now get a USB-C port, along with a good old-fashioned USB-A port. It also has a magnetic charging port, if you're a klutz who trips over the power cord all the time, this can be a lifesaver. It severs the connection between the wall plug and the computer before the laptop goes flying across the room like a frisbee. The Surface Laptop 4 comes in 13 and 15 inch sizes. There are also AMD Ryzen and Intel chipsets available. If you're hoping to do some light gaming or video editing, I suggest the Ryzen. Either will be plenty powerful enough for working on documents, browsing the web, and checking email. One great change from its predecessor is the much improved battery life. Microsoft is claiming upwards of 17 hours. My testing so far has been closer to 16, but that's still way more than enough for a full day of work. Number 3 the LG Gram range is different from other top quality laptops. It's supremely lightweight. The 17 inch model showcases this the most, making what you'd think is a ridiculously sized device a reasonable purchase. Despite the large display, this model weighs just under 3 pounds. To achieve this lightweight, LG uses a magnesium alloy. At first glance, these laptops look a tad cheap, but they are surprisingly robust. The Gram 17 doesn't shirk on the display itself. With a wide, 16-10 aspect ratio, high-quality QHD plus i screen, and it's glorious. This laptop's key follies are its high price and, again, its first impressions, but this may be something you're willing to sacrifice for its stunningly low weight. Number 2 Intel is in the middle of a graphics revolution and the Acer Swift 3X was one of the first devices to sport its sexy graphics technology. The GPU won't give you high-end gaming performance, far from it. But it does provide a graphical boost, making this light, thin machine capable of entry-level content creation. It's pricey for the quality, but the mix of performance and diminutive size makes it one to consider, especially for creative and design students. It doesn't match Apple's M1 MacBook Air but it's a comparable Windows equivalent if the Mac OS laptop doesn't suit your needs. Number 1 MacBook Air remains the Mac to get. Apple upgraded this 13-incher in November 2020, 9-10, Wired recommends, ditching Intel chips for its own M1 processor. The results are impressive. Battery life is great, easily lasting more than a full workday. Perhaps more surprising is the excellent performance, even in apps made for Intel-powered machines. Apple uses a tool called Rosetta to translate these apps to work with its M1 chip, and most of them run just as well if not better. If you're concerned about compatibility, well, 
more and more developers are releasing M1 versions of their apps. For example, Adobe already has M1 versions of Lightroom and Photoshop. The Air retains a slim and lightweight design with solid speakers, an excellent keyboard, and a good display. We also love how it now instantly wakes from sleep, just like your phone or tablet. If you want a Mac and aren't planning to edit video or otherwise tax it too much, this is the MacBook you want. If you do need more power, see below for more M1 powered Mac laptops. Thanks for watching guys, that's all for now I hope you guys liked this video, if this video is helpful to you, please make sure to like comment and subscribe, hope to see you guys in the next video.